Hello friends, I wanted to take just a moment and explain to you a new app that was pushed out to your iPads. If you look on this screen, the top three rows are totally filled and in the bottom row is one called Sketches. It's white and it has a black fine point marker in the middle of it. So we're gonna tap that. And it brings up this page, or it may bring up the very first time you open it, like an introductory page, but then it will come to this screen. And so, what you're going to do, there's a white box with a plus sign in it. I want you to tap that. And this brings open a canvas for you. And this canvas, you can treat just like a piece of paper. Um, and on the left are a different series of tools, many of which we have already used in class. And I'm going to go through those with you in just a moment. I also want to point out that in the bottom right hand corner is a little block of color. And if you tap that very quickly, you're going to see this palette of colors that comes up. And so I'm going to pick, and you can scroll by dragging your finger up and down, I'm going to pick this really pretty purple color right there. If you um, touch that purple color and you hold it for any amount of time, this box comes up. And this allows you to modify the color so you can change the tint or change the shade of the color. Just like we've talked about in art class, if you add white to something, it makes it lighter. If you add black to something, it makes it darker. And this also adds in some other colors and you can add some variety. So um, just wanted to show that to you. I'm gonna tap cancel for now. And we're gonna go through the different tools on the left and I'm gonna tap on this fine point marker, this extremely fine point marker. And you can use your finger or you can use what's called a stylus, and that's like a very soft, uh, rubbery surface. Sometimes you see this at the end of ink pens, but I just wanna reiterate, do not use a pencil or a pen or a crown or a marker on your iPad screen. I would stick with your finger or a stylus. So I'm gonna just take my fingertip right now and I'm gonna draw a straight line across. See how that makes it nice and light? And now, We've went from extra fine point to fine point. And I'm going to come over here. And if you look on the right, um, you'll see what's called opacity. Opacity is how opaque something is. So whether or not you can see through it. If you can't see through something, that's called opaque. So your body is opaque. Furniture is usually opaque. A window is transparent. You can see through it. So I can pull this down at the right side you can see the opacity is dropping okay so i can do that again see how that line is lighter than the top line also at the bottom on that right side you can drag it up and down i can make the size bigger and that makes my marker bigger so this is just something that you can play with you have lots of options your next tool here is a marker and again, you can adjust the opacity and the size of that marker on the right side. Next, you have a brush marker. And that's super fun as well. And you can reduce the opacity on that. And you can see the difference there. Next, you have, it's like a crayon. And again, you can reduce the opacity or the size on it. I'm gonna make that size bigger. And you see that little dot that grows in the middle of the screen? See how much bigger we can make that? And next we have, I'm gonna make this smaller yet. There we go. This one reminds me a little bit more of an oil pastel. Next, you have a paint brush, a watercolor brush specifically, and I love this one. So if you love watercolor painting, you will absolutely love this one. And so um, you can reduce the size of that. So this one is probably my most favorite on here. And then next, let's take a look at this one. It's like an airbrush. Um, thing about like spray painting, that's kind of what it um, reminds me of here. And this next one is a calligraphy pen. And so calligraphy is just a way of saying fancy handwriting. So if you want to um, do some fancy handwriting, you can definitely do that. You can try out your best cursive moves with this one. So like I might do Mrs. Brown. 
And any time that you do not like anything, in the top left corner, you're gonna see a little arrow, and that is undo. So I'm gonna tap that, and it took away the last two letters of my name. Now there's another arrow that's popped up, and it's called redo, and I can tap that one, and those letters come back. So if you don't like something, you can take it away. There's also an eraser tool, and I can take my finger, I'm gonna go right in the middle of my screen, and you can even hear that eraser sound a little bit too if you have your volume turned up, but I can go through and just erase something that I don't like with my finger. So if you at any time don't want to see your tools anymore, in the bottom left corner, you see like a little L, it's like half of a square, tap that, and it puts you in Zen mode. And then if you um, tap in that same corner, the other side of that square, it brings your tools back. So they are, um, it's super easy to use. So now, when you are done, I'm going to tap this piece of paper here at the top. It puts it on that screen and it saves it right there. And let's say you wanna share something with me. So you open it and then there are three dots at the top in the middle and you're gonna hit that. And there is a box with an arrow pointing out. And so you are gonna tap that. And then right here, see I could text it to people or I could mail it and I can put my message right here and I can just type in mm, Mrs. Brown's email address. So lbrown at gkb.k12.in.us. And then in the subject, you can put um, Sammy Jenkins or whatever your name is, Sammy Jenkins Art Project. And then just click the blue arrow right there. Well, the blue circle with the white arrow in it. And then you'll get a little notification that it sent to me. So you can send me as many as you want. You can share these with your grown-ups. You can um, share them with your classmates. Anyway, and then you can do as many as you want. So thank you so much. I hope that you enjoy this app. Have a great day.